Hello everyone, my name is Julia and today's craft activity celebrates the launch of the 2020 Summer Reading Challenge Silly Squad. This year the challenge will be online only and will run from June to September. You can join the challenge on the Reading Agency website where you will also find book recommendations, quizzes, videos and games. Today we're going to be making a silly sock puppet. Ready to get creative? Let's get started! For this craft you will need one sock, a piece of cardboard, you can use a piece of cardboard from a food package, pom-pom balls, googly eyes, yarn, scissors, craft glue suitable for fabric. You can also use hot glue gun but this is quite tricky, so you will probably need your grown-up's help. This should be absolutely fine. And other decorative materials, such as buttons, feathers, pipe cleaners, craft foam, craft felt, everything you will need to decorate your silly sock puppet. First, turn your sock inside out and lay heel side up. Now cut a piece of cardboard of the same width of your sock and fold it in half. This will be the mouth of your puppet. Then you can glue it to the sock. When the glue will be dry, you can turn the sock right side out, keeping your cardboard still. You can grab it with your fingers like this and lay your sock heel side up on the table as the heel will be on the top of the head. Now it's time to decorate it. First I'm going to do the eyes and you can stick your hand inside to see where you want to have the eyes. And mark it with a pen. And then you can glue them on. I'm using pom-pom balls and when they are in place I will glue the googly eyes onto them. Remember be generous using the glue. nose. You can glue on another pom-pom, uh, a little bit smaller, or a button, 
or a little piece of craft form cut in a circle shape, the color you like. I'm gonna use this pink little pom-pom. To make the hair, an easy way is to take a piece of cardboard, the wider it is, the longer your puppet's hair will be. So, just take your thread, I'm using wool, and let's start, wrap it around like this. So when you're happy with it, just cut. And take the cardboard off. Like this. And then with another piece of thread, just tie a knot and fix it in the middle. Now put a scissor through and cut. If some are too long you just and cut them off. Now repeat on the other side. You can also do the same procedure using two different colors. And that will make your puppet hair look even crazier. Now that you're ready, we can glue them behind the eyes. You can even use pipe cleaners to make the hair. Just take one and wrap it all around a pencil just like this slide it off and stick the little metal wire through the fabric and bend it a little bit, be careful, so it will stay in place. And you can choose other colors to make the hair really silly. Not finished yet, because you can add extra details like a tongue, moustache, something to decorate the hair like a little head made out of foam or a bow. Or what about some colourful craft feathers? You can be creative as much as you like. Just remember, craft glue will take a while to dry. So what I suggest is to leave your sock puppet laying still overnight. So next day it will be completely dry and ready to play with you. I hope you like this craft and have fun making your own sock puppet 
or even more than one, so you'll be able to perform a fantastic puppet show for your family and friends. Look out for details of our weekly online activities taking place on the Cambridgeshire Library's Facebook page throughout the summer. Oh, and don't forget to sign up to the challenge! Thank you for watching and see you next time! Bye!